hello everyone welcome back to my channel today so on today's episode since it's the new year we are just um, getting started with the new year it's 2023 and um a lot of people will be making several new year resolutions as regards their health as regards living a healthier life right and you know the new year is actually a good time to get started with these things like it gives you a time frame from the beginning of the year to the middle of the year you have milestones you want to set for yourself from the beginning of the year also to the end of the year you have milestones you want to set for yourself so it's actually a good time to get um kick starts your goals including your health goals and like i said in my previous video without life and good health every other thing is just useless because on what premise are you going to operate upon so that is why these two things are very very important once you have life and then you have good health even when you are alive and you're really sick you're not in optimal health you're not going to you're not going to feel yourself there is no there is no motivation you will be less interested about life right so let's get started on how you can get started on a healthy lifestyle in 2023 or in the new year right so the first step you want to start practicing if you have not been doing that is to drink enough water drink lots of water the average um quantity of water that is required from every individual is two to three liters daily right and one way you can actually know if you're dehydrated or, or, or dehydrated is when you you urinate your urine is going to come it's supposed to come out um around clear or pale yellow if it's anything darker than a pale yellow that means you're dehydrated Anything that makes your sure urine to be pale, um, sorry, anything that makes your sure urine to be yellow or brown, you are highly dehydrated. And it's a sign, like it's like a danger sign that your body needs to your water. Okay, when you take in more water, water is very helpful in transporting nutrients and oxygen around the body, right? And you cannot just afford not to be taking enough water. Like I said, two three liters daily. Now, the second thing you want to inculcate into your lifestyle is exercising it might sound cliche but exercising is actually very very important because the human body the human anatomy wasn't built for a sedentary lifestyle right so it is very important that you move your body you exercise even if you're not doing it to lose weight ensure that you're doing it for your heart because you can't say uh, your 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 weight you're not losing weight you're not fat and then because of that you just get stuck in a couch like a couch potato no that's really really unhealthy for you you're meant to move around exercise even if your job or your everyday day -to -day, or let me say your day-to-day -day activity does not warrant you to move around make sure that you're intentional about moving around take the staircase instead of the elevator take a walk around your neighborhood do something do something and then if you don't have this you don't want to step out you can also get yourself a treadmill if you can afford one in your house where yeah, you can step on it and then exercise and move your body right so another um healthy habit you should inculcate into your lifestyle in the new year is sleep the required sleep time for every individual is seven to eight hours so if you're having anything less than this you might be endangering your your powerhouse which is your brain the brain requires sleep for if you're not having a lot of sleep it might you might end up with stress related diseases and what have you so the brain the organs in your body uses sleep to renew the sleep that you get to have to renew their cells okay so that is why it is important for you to have enough sleep your body relaxes and then your organs renews themselves at that point so another thing you would want to add to your lifestyle in the new year is eating fruits and vegetables now in the past um according to who the expected intake of fruits for an individual is two to three um, diff uh, portions of fruits right that's two to three different kinds of fruits but that is no longer standing i think in the recent time who has also come has also come back to say that the required intake of fruits per individual is four to five servings so you have four to five different fruits per day right this is going to help boost your immune and guard your body defense mechanism against the radicals against diseases against stress related diseases and what that and the fifth um, step towards living a healthy life in the new year is 
cutting down on processed foods. You need to cut down on processed food like uh, canned food, junk, fast food, what have you. Okay, you need to cut that cut, cut down on them because a lot of them have preservatives, emulsifiers, stabilizers, and additives that prolong intake of them and destabilize your body and your system and deteriorate your immunity. The next step you want to take, which is the sixth step, is for you to cut down on refined sugar. I cannot say this enough. Refined sugar is dangerous, refined sugar is deadly, sugar is anything you call sugar, that is what it is. Sugar is bad. The excessiveness of sugar in a human body, do you know, increases the chance to become at risk of cancer. This is because sugar increases inflammation. Anything that has to do with inflammation, in fact, when sugar is involved, it increases, it compounds. Now, that is the reason why you need to cut down sugar. Sugar is deadly, sugar is bad. You can, you can say, okay, what if you want to, you like to, you're a sweet tooth, I'm also a sweet tooth, but I ensure that I get my sweet or sweet cravings from food sugar or plant sugar, right? There are substitutes for refined sugar like date syrup or powder, like the honey and um, what other thing again? There is this other one, I'm going to remember it for the end of this video, right? And basically, honey and date are very good. Stevia is the name, stevia. Okay. Honey, date and stevia, they are good substitutes for refined sugar, right? So the next thing you want to consider in a healthy lifestyle journey is eating your rainbows. Now, you you know every plant has different colors. You take your veggies, um, you, they come in different colors. The fruit and veggies, they come in different colors, especially fruit tables, they come in different colors. From green to orange to red to purple to yellow. Very essential because they contain antioxidants that replenishes your body and kicks off the, the, the radical and boosts your immune system. So that is why it is very important for you not to stick only on green vegetables and also explore the colors, the colors which are the rainbow colors. Even fruits come in different colors. Explore them, okay? And then another step you want to take into um, a healthy lifestyle is ditching carbonated drinks. Please cut down on carbonated drinks. If there is anything you want to do in this new year, I can tell you for a fact, for the past two years, I have actually ditched, um, I'm, on a, I'm on a no soda diet, like it is an intentional step for you to make, it's not just to walk in the park, especially if you used to be addicted to it, if I wasn't addicted, I used to take it once in a while, right, but I told myself, I woke up one day and told myself that sugar is bad, so if I'm not going to take anything that has to be present, carbonated drinks are, drinks are usually addictive, especially this particular brand, I'm not going to mention the name. So it, the moment you don't take it, it's like there's something that is wrong to me. Why this thing is not even adding any nutritional value to your body. This thing is destroying something. It's, it's messing up with your immunity, right? Now, instead of taking carbonated drinks, take fruit juices instead. Take smoothies, take juices from fruits. They are sweet fruits. When I put this in um, sweetness, um, uh, watermelon, name them, orange juice, replace them. Ensure that you're taking these things, even um, um, the soil drink or the sober drink, it's very good. Replace them with natural juices and fruits and fruit juices. So, and um, if you cannot find them available, you can replace with water. Water, you can never go wrong with water, like I said in the beginning, right? So, the next step towards a healthy lifestyle in the new year is to quit smoking. Even the producers or the manufacturers of these products tell you and write it in the pack of cigarettes that smokers are liable to die young. I mean, why do you intentionally want to kill yourself? Why do you intentionally want to endanger your own life, your respiratory system, your lungs, and then put yourself um, in, 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 in at risk or at, putting yourself at risk of lung cancer? I mean, I mean, I mean. But give it a thought. Like, if you love yourself in the very form of self-love, you want to show yourself and um, in this movie that you're a smoker, please quit it, quit it. Just so that everything you take a stick of cigarettes, you're, you're taking 10 steps closer to your date. Now you like this particular one, prepare your meals, okay? Prepare your meals will ensure that you can control the ingredients that go into your food. Because when you are always eating us, you might not even know what, how these people prepare their meal. You don't know what is involved, you don't know the hygiene environment around where the meal was prepared, okay? And then if it's a packaged food, you don't even know the additives that are added. So it's very essential for you to prepare your meals. It helps you cut down on the drug and in between meals that are not healthy. So 
So that's why it is important for you to prepare your own meals. If you do not take um, excess salt or a, a particular ingredient that you react to, if you have um, a learning ingredient that you try to manage or, uh, or you react to it, basically, you can actually control that when you cook your own meals. Or when you get rid of your meals, it is really difficult for you to do so. So the next thing you want to do on living healthy when you are Avoiding stress. Stretching stress causes oxidative stress. Oxidative stress can actually lead to cancer. Stress and regenerating disease is if not properly managed. I mean, you don't want to get to a point, right? So, if you can manage, ensure that you're keeping a balance in your family, you're working out your life, you're the family and local balance in your life, right? Everything in life is all around you, right? And there is no balance. Okay. So, I'm going to hold on those strings, please. Because that's all of those things, you know. The business you're doing, the, 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 the work you're doing, you're going you, you to call me, you're stressing you out. Now, the way to do it is the way to do it is the first truth. So, take care of yourself. I'm not saying don't show up or don't do what you have to do. Do what you have to do, but ensure that you keep your balance. When it's time to rest, you shut down. Don't put your phones on the side of one another. Okay? So, finally, the next step to us living a healthy life is avoiding negativity. I mean, every other thing I've said here, if a particular lens means uh, that's a thing, you're not avoiding negativity. It's an issue. Because negativity has a way of making the negative to the top of the development for the growth, for your well being. So, it is important to really avoid people and places that expose your negativity. Okay? You owe it to yourself. You owe it to yourself to do it for yourself. Okay? So, can you go across this road? So, negativity doesn't give any other results. There's nothing that comes, there's nothing good that comes with the negativity. Comparison, low self esteem, envy, jealousy, you know. So, ensure you are going with when you are doing these things, so you don't give yourself emotionally generated analysis. In fact, you can actually keep to this rules, but because you allow the negativity into your life, you find out that all these things can actually come as a result of emotion. The emotion that is existing in your brain at that time can come as all these things to your life. So you don't create room for this negativity to happen, you don't create room for it to rise up, break it in and surround yourself with only. Positive and energy and positive people around you. Okay. So, thank you so much for the emotional way to hear you. And I would like to look at these tips for you. Get them started in the middle. And don't forget, it is not too late for you to get started in the middle of the next time. Okay? I'm going to ask you to do it. There is something I want to leave you with today. The body regenerates itself. Every single cell of our body regenerates itself. Now, the very little man is happy. Meet everybody like that without so lucky to start wherever you want to start and get it right. Okay? So you don't have to be that person that you believe you will not or not start early. You don't know how the case may be. So it is better to get it started earlier. Okay? Start now. Start now. So because the body regenerates itself, it doesn't matter. You can get to it. It's, you can see the roots of the case for the past. It's because of the way that I live and all of food.
Because I'm not sure. 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 I'm not sure.